So we took a little break from the kitchen. Alana has a little interview. Yes. We're heading to Manhattan. It's a beautiful evening. A little nippy side, but it's okay. She looks pinkalicious. <laughs> All ready for the interview? Yep, prepared and everything. All right. We're gonna nail it, right? Of course. All right, guys, join us on the train. We're heading now to take the E train. Yep. City and Lana told me she's gonna buy me flowers. Isn't she so, so cute and generous? Oh, it's so nice here. The flowers over in the city are like so beautiful that you can't, yeah. can't skip my name. Let's go, we're gonna go check out all the flowers. Yeah, we just passed it by, so Lana is taking me to get some flowers. What kind of flowers are you gonna get, Lana? Um, well, you like tulips, you like the tulips, I love huh? the tulips. They did look really nice, so restaurants and stuff all around. Look, spice mantra. Indian, your dad would like this. So decently. Yeah. Look, Ricky. Spice mantra. Gotta bring you here next. Alright. Let's throw the flowers off. Is it? Right here. Look, guys. Look at all the pretty flowers. Alright, Lana. See which one of these flowers are you gonna buy me? You gotta come back. This is very pretty, yeah. I love, I love the tulips. So these oh are like God. all, yeah, the tulips are all for Easter and stuff. Hence Easter is right around the corner, oh, guys. Look at, and the lilies also, yes. The lilies also are like at the, at the church. At my church, when you go, there's all the lilies are on the altar. Very beautiful. Different kinds. Look at the, oh, look at these, the calla lilies. These are so what pretty. Calla lilies also, yeah. These are called calla lilies. Very pretty. So yeah, they are, right? Yeah, and four kids and oh yeah. Dad got a new shot. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> so beautiful and so fragrant. Alright, so I think we're gonna get like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah. Wanna choose one? Yeah. Oh. Which one are you looking at? Uh, that the one. Mm -hmm. And the tulips. Two that I give them right here, Easter. Yep, they do. Right. Decisions, decisions. Let's see what we're gonna get here, Lana. She's gonna get me flowers. I'm getting her dinner. <laughs> We're doing it Indian style, baby. And the so. same in the same spot we showed you guys before. Yes, it's the same spot. So I said I showed Ricky. We're gonna come in here. What's the name of the restaurant? Do you remember, Lana? 
and this mantra. Indian cuisine. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're gonna have some. Uh, you know what's this one? I don't know. It looks like a taco. So this is, these are the chutneys and stuff here. You're gonna dip the um, break the bread. So you break the bread like this here. Yeah. And you dip it into the chutneys and you you eat. You dig in. Oh, you see. One is like a chutney, so you guys, this is good. Yeah. All right, so Alana got um, paneer and I got a shrimp biryani. We're gonna have all dinner here, and then we're gonna head back into Queens, guys. got back Alana and I just got back from the city and I brought my leftover biryani for Ricky <laughs> shrimp <You> know, biryani <laughs> I'm sitting I'm lying here watching my city the union and when you're a chef and nothing is on your mind but what to cook when to cook and how to cook here she is this woman come in the room and have to discuss what we're gonna to cook tomorrow but aren't you happy you know, he's very fortunate. Aren't you happy? I went to the city with Alana for her job interview. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she got through, guys. And aren't you guys happy that you have a wife that asks you, well, babe, what do you want to eat tomorrow? So tell tell everybody now what you guys were talking about about a week ago and what we're going to go start throwing down now. <laughs> you see how we laughing? We in bed lie down here. I come in now to say hello <laughs> to him and stuff. That is true. But uh, oh my god, Uncle Biden, I'm gonna talk just now how you can fix the bar, the problem, and so. But yeah. Oh, so you're gonna food and stuff again, then, yeah? Oh, no, man. Um, by tomorrow morning, this whole. Uh, yeah, I tell you, we will change up. Um, we're gonna get hungry, so we're gonna have to eat. Let's keep let's keep everyone in suspense. Let's see in the morning where Ricky's gonna take me. We gotta go get some stuff in the morning. Let's see where Ricky's gonna be taking me in the morning. Where is it, Eric? Yes, you know what I like about this is that decisions decisions mm -hmm. but at the end of it we get to eat fresh you that's know. all on a cook is fresh yeah, food man. buddy fresh food so it's it's actually an honor to take this young lady out whether it's morning lunch or evening to get whatever it is she needs to pick up mm -hmm. and and thank god that everything is right around here you know yeah we're quite fortunate richmond hill is a neighborhood that has everything you need from greens to meats mm -hmm. you know your your, your dairy that's the plus of this place. And then if, you, if you're lazy and you don't want to cook, which she's not, you can go and buy your food. Yeah, you but can't uh, really go hungry here, no matter yeah, what, you know, you can't really go hungry at all. Well, folks, stay tuned and um, let's see where the road takes us tomorrow. I can, I can go back and watch my, my sacred union now, please. Uncle Biden there? Yeah. Is like Uncle, Uncle Biden uh, doing something there for you yeah, very interested this is the great thing about this country you know all right guys so stay tuned and let's see what's going to be thrown down in anna's kitchen next <laughs> all right good night we'll see you guys in the morning good night so we're on the road again folks starting our new adventure where are we off to rick uh pleasant market uh -huh. we're going to we're going to get fish <sighs> this man surely you've been living back in guyana you know if we're going to get Fish and shrimp in, in which market now? Suffering fish market. Oh, I thought it's pleasant just now. All right, I hope everyone is doing well on the menu today. It's Mr. Ricky and the kids requested. What are you requested today? 
Well, for the kids, we're gonna do home fried chicken and some, uh, was it fried rice and potato salad. And you'll be having prawns. I'm gonna do some prep pepper shrimp. Because okay. I'm not eating meat still, so I'll do the chicken and stuff. And salad, we're gonna do some salad. And some salad, yeah. I got to just man to cook and all. He's well be placing orders and stuff there. He hello. like to eat. This is all part of taking part of what you do. Um, hello. This here I could drive also, <laughs> and we could go. I could go by myself and do my shopping, buddy. That's yeah, the but advantage. Said, don't get no ticket and driving fast, fast. And Excuse you. Look at you now. <laughs> See how this man is. <laughs> well, look at you. <laughs> oh lord. So we're gonna enter now onto the Van Wyck service road, guys. Of course, there's always traffic here. New York for you, right? All right, so stay with us. I'm gonna go pick up some shrimp, some big shrimp. I'm gonna make pepper shrimp, and I'm gonna pick up all of my fresh vegetables to do uh, my fried rice and stuff. We also get to get fresh chicken, leg and thighs, and basmati rice. Yeah, we'll pick basmati up. I, I make my fried rice with the basmati rice. Yes. All right. So back from shopping. Ricky dropped me off home, he went out to work, and I got all of my fresh ingredients here for my fry rice, for the pepper shrimp, I'll be making a little potato salad, all of our fresh produce, right here. So I'm going to be making some homemade fried chicken, I'm not eating it of course, but Ricky and the kids, they like wings and leg and thighs, so... I went ahead and I cleaned the chicken. I cut it up and washed it thoroughly. It's all cleaned here. I'm gonna season it up with my green seasoning and all the necessary salts and pepper and so forth. I bought four pounds of wild caught jumbo shrimp. These are pretty big. And I also cleaned them out, deveined it. See, cut it out there and I uh, I like to leave the tail on when I'm making pepper shrimp. It's it's pretty for presentation. And for the fry rice, I have uh, some sive, cabbage, a variety of peppers, sweet peppers, uh, red onion, uh, carrots, and some bodhi. I like using fresh ingredients. I don't like to use frozen ingredients or canned stuff when I make my fry rice. And I like to make my fries with the basmati rice so my rice i went and i picked up a, a bag of the basmati rice and when i do like indian dishes like the basmati rice goes very well with the indian dishes also like if i make butter chicken or if i do um biryani for instance this is great to use so this is what i'll be making my fried rice with i'll be using some of the peppers and the carrots as well as the onions for the pepper shrimp and i'm going to be making my pepper shrimp a little different so i'm going to show you guys i'm going to season it up i'm going to lightly fry it first and shrimp doesn't take long to cook and then i'm going to cook the vegetables and then add in all the soy sauce and the oyster sauce and those things and toss the shrimp in so it's a little different i'm doing it usually i cook the vegetables first and then add in the shrimp the seasoned shrimp but i'm gonna fry this a little first let it get a little coating from the flour just plain flour lightly fried and i'm going to toss everything um, with the vegetables and stuff toss the shrimp in afterwards all right so my family's in for a delicious treat we haven't decided on dessert as yet i'm gonna go ahead right now and season up the chicken and the shrimp so you can marinate for a little bit Here's our seasoned chicken. So I have uh, my green seasoning here, salt, black pepper, some lemon pepper. I added a little five spice powder also. Um, some adobo seasoning, a pack of sazon salt, and a little dry fine thyme. So I rubbed everything down well into the chicken for it to marinate here for a bit. And here I have the shrimp also, which I seasoned up with lemon pepper, salt, sazon, a little adobo, some of my green seasoning mixture. And again, I'm gonna fry the shrimp very light and then I'll toss it into my um, 
Chinese sauce, the garlic sauce and stuff with all of the peppers and everything. And all of my vegetables here, I just cut up everything here. So all of the finely chopped peppers and carrots, some of the booty and stuff here. This is for the fried rice. I like to have everything like um, cut up to the same size so it cooks evenly. And here I have carrots, some red onions, an assortment of the peppers, some sive. And I have, for the fried rice, again, I have some sive and onions chopped up here. This shredded cabbage is gonna go in the fried rice. Also, when the fried rice is finished cooking, I just sit the cabbage to the top. So the steam from the rice just steams the cabbage. It's still The cabbage still has like a little crunch to it, a bite. And this chopped cabbage is gonna go for the pepper shrimp. When it's finished also, I'm just gonna like garnish the top of the shrimp and it just steams also in the oyster sauce and the garlic sauce. It's very delicious. And here are the bad boys. I have three habanero peppers. I'm not gonna use all of this into the pepper shrimp, but hence the word pepper shrimp, you have to put a little pepper, right? I mean, I have to cook for the kids and myself. We. The kids don't eat as much pepper as me. I could always add, as I always say, you can add pepper, you can take it out. All right, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put my rice to steam also. I'll show you guys. I did fry rice before on my channel. If you go back to the channel and you can see how I did it's a very basic. And again, I used the basmati rice. Um, I think it, it makes a better fry rice. So and then we'll start with our pepper shrimp as well as the fried chicken. Oh, and I'm also making, guys, I am also making some potato salad. So, and I'm gonna put eggs into the fried rice. That I forgot to mention. I'm gonna scramble a couple eggs and throw it into the fried rice. All right, so again, let's get cooking. So let's start with the fried rice. I have a little olive oil that's heating up here in my pot. And I have some eggs, eight eggs with some potatoes that I peeled and cut up into bite-sized pieces is boiling there for the potato salad. So while the olive oil is heating up here, I went ahead and I washed two cups of rice. So I'm using two cups, my cup measurement here, a one cup measure. I took two cups of rice and I washed the rice. And the reason why I washed the rice while I'm cooking parboil rice for any curries, stew or vegetables or whatever we're doing, or if I'm making fried rice or biryani, I wash it off because the rice has a lot of dry starch. Um, you'll notice if you, when you wash rice and you see like it gets white, that's the dry starch that comes off. So it's better if you, I, I think again, and that's the way that I was raised, like with my mom, you wash the rice, um, it takes off the dry starch again, some of the dry starch. So I went ahead and I seasoned this rice with salt, some black pepper, some adobo, some soy sauce, some five spice seasoning, um, some fried rice seasoning, and I'm gonna saute some of the onions and the side here. Add in the rice, and again, I use two cups of rice. I'm gonna be using three and a half cups of water to cook the rice. So I'm gonna saute the onions and stuff in the olive oil here, and add in the rice, add the three, and a half cups of water you can use hot water and let it come to a roaring boil then you want to turn the stove to the lowest on the lowest on the for the burner and then you cover i'm going to cover it and let it just cook and it's going to steam the water is going to cook to perfection it's going to cook the rice is going to cook sorry to perfection with the water the liquid and you don't touch it and i'll show you guys how this comes along how the rice looks when it's finished Okay, so after cooking my aromatics, the onions and the side for about two minutes, I, I just added the rice, the seasoned rice. All right, you just wanna let it get a little toasty to the bottom of the frying pan. And now I'm gonna go in with the water. So again, it's two cups of rice. I'm using three and a half cups of water. And I'm using the same water from the the bowl that I had the rice, hence the color, is from the soy sauce. I have this on a high heat. It's going to start to come to a roaring boil soon. And I'm 
gonna cover it, lower the heat again. And this rice is gonna absorb all of the liquid here, the water. And it's gonna cook to perfection. All right, I'll show you guys how it looks. You can always adjust um, the darkness of the rice. If you want it a bit darker, you can add a little more soy sauce or you can add castrip. So our soy sauce is usually the siao that we use in Trinidad, the yellow can siao. You can also use castrip in this rice recipe. You can put a little bit, as well as the chief brand sauce, the Chinese sauce. So I did add some of the chief brand sauce also. Um, it gives it a great flavor and taste, as well as color. So this is gonna come to a roaring boil, and I'm gonna cover it again with my lid here, and put it all the way to the lowest, turn it down all the way low, and leave it cook. I just drained out the potatoes, and I sat the eggs in some cold water here, just to stop the cooking process. So I'm gonna let it the eggs cool on in the cold water, I'm gonna peel them and I'm gonna add it, chop it up and put it into the potatoes and I'm gonna mix the potatoes and the egg to make the potato salad with mayonnaise, um, some mustard, a little adobo, a little salt and some cracked pepper. I do not add, I do not make um, my potato salad the traditional Trinidadian way because the kids don't like the peas and carrots. So. It's really a plain, it's like an egg and potato salad I'm making here. It's not with the peas and the carrots, like our traditional um, potato salad in Trinidad. And meanwhile, so I had the rice cooking here. It's on the lowest flame there. I'm now gonna open it. All right, so this is how you want the rice. Again, I haven't turned it since I add the liquid in. Now I'm gonna give it a turn and you can see I'm gonna shut off the stove now guys you can distinctly see that all the liquid has been absorbed the rice is still very grainy it is not soggy at all and this is what you want you can hear the little crackling sounds and I would advise if you use preferably a non-stick pot if you have it cooks better so you see uh, again for the one cup if you're using one cup I use usually a cup and a half of liquid not two because I'm gonna to toss back this rice also now with the vegetables, I have all the vegetables. I went ahead and cracked four eggs. I added a little black pepper, a little salt. I'm gonna whisk those eggs in now. I have all of my vegetables here to saute. I have a little bit of sive and I have the cabbage that's gonna to go to the top. And I like when cooking, making Chinese fried rice or chow mein or like the, um, the pepper shrimp, fresh ginger. It gives it such a lovely flavor and taste. You don't want to use too much because it's a very pungent aromatic also to use. You don't use too much. I have some chopped up parsley there and this is my habanero peppers. I cut up some of the peppers there. I took out the seed because that's where the heat is. Again, you could always add pepper. You can take it out. I'm going to use half of this ginger, the grated ginger in the fry rice and half for the pepper shrimp. All right, so I'm gonna whisk the eggs and fry the eggs first. But look how beautiful again, the rice. It's very loose, guys, look. This is what you want for fry rice. Again, it's not cook up rice or pela we're making, right? It's fry rice. So I'm gonna let this cool down for like half an hour. Let it get to room temperature. And I'm gonna start first by frying the eggs, scrambling the eggs. And then I'm gonna saute all of my vegetables and show you guys how this beautiful fry rice, egg veggie fry rice comes together. So this is our potato salad. I mixed it and I dusted it with a little bit of paprika and just a little parsley just for garnish. So the kids, they enjoy it this way again. But myself, you know, growing up as a child in Trinidad, big up to my aunt Candro. I have to shout out my aunt and, and Big Hub because I remember as a child going to visit them. Visit her especially at her house. And this meal that I'm making today, you know, fried rice, potato salad, fried chicken, um, sometimes we make chow mein, um, the pepper shrimp. This is like a typical Sunday lunch in a lot of homes in Trinidad. I mean, things have evolved, things have changed a lot, but this was like a typical. And my aunt, she would add she would, for me personally, she would make the best potato salad. So she would add 
beetroot or beets as you know you know the fresh beetroot she would boil it and she would add it into the potato salad and it gave it such a, a beautiful color you know the beetroot is like a red burgundy color so when mixed and incorporated like with the peas and carrots the eggs the potatoes and the beetroot it was so beautiful and it tastes so good and beetroot is actually very healthy it's a very healthy root vegetable a lot of antioxidants and it's good for your blood so but if you know if i make beetroot into this potato salad if i put it i along with beet in all of this the kids wouldn't want to eat it the kids and ricky eats beetroot but it has to be in the side like roasted beetroot or a salad or so they would eat it all right so this is our beautiful potato salad again big up again to my aunt candro and i'm gonna start now with my fried rice i have the heat on very low i have a little bit of oil heating up here i'm gonna put the heat on medium and i'm gonna start sauteing the vegetables and stuff i'm gonna scramble the eggs first and then saute everything here and again guys you know on one of my earlier videos while i cook i like to clean and put away everything so as fast as i use utensils i use bowls and pots and whatever everything's washed dried and put away I, I like to clean as i go and cook um and put away everything it makes life easier so i don't like to have miscellaneous stuff sitting all around um yeah this is all the ingredients and stuff which i have to use of course our shrimp and chicken is sitting over here that's gonna do next i'll do the shrimp and then do the fried chicken but i do not like to have again miscellaneous things unnecessary sitting on my counter all right so let's start with the fried rice and i'm gonna scramble the eggs let's start with the eggs going into the hot oil and again i'm scrambling the eggs first I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it on the rice so I have the rice right next to the pot that I'm frying here. Let's see this in the sink. Okay, let's crumble the eggs. And a non stick pot, I would refer again, um, you know, to, to make your fried rice. If you don't, I guess you can use whatever you have, but you see everything comes up very easily in the non-stick pots. Right, so the eggs are good here now. I'm gonna put it right over the rice because the rice is gonna be incorporated back with the vegetables and in the very same pot now, I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. Just a little. And we're gonna start going in now with our vegetables um the aromatics first i'm gonna put some ginger so i'm gonna use a little ginger a little bit of the parsley and a little bit of the side here i'm gonna saute everything let it sweat out a little bit no, the eggs still here and then i'm gonna start sorting all of my vegetables so we have a little ginger here i use half of the ginger i'm gonna reserve the other half for the shrimp so a little bit of chive or scallions and a little bit of the red onion. Literally like 30 seconds is there. I'm gonna first go in with the puffer vegetables, which is the bodhi and the carrots. These are a bit on the puffer side, so I'll give this like two minutes in the pot first. Then I'll add in the peppers, so the peppers are softer. It takes less time to cook. a little bit of olive oil not olive oil sorry sorry sesame oil i'm sorry as well as a little sesame salt okay too much fell out there i'm taking this out guys i don't need so much again you can always add the salt in I put it back into the can it just fell to the top you can always add salt and pepper you can't take it out so The body and the carrots here is going to sweat out for like a minute. And then I'm going to go in with the peppers. I just went in with the peppers the four different uh, colors. I have yellow, some green, orange, and red. And again, 
again, this is gonna stay now the pepper, this is gonna cook for like a minute. Just again to extract its own flavors and juice. I add a pinch of salt also onto the vegetables. And as you guys saw, I add a little bit of sesame oil as well as some vegetable oil. Okay. Again, I have some reserved ginger here. I'm gonna keep for the shrimp as well as parsley. And the hot peppers goes for the shrimp. That's, that's what we're gonna be doing next. The cabbage is gonna go um, on the fry rice when it's finished. I don't toss it into the rice because it cooks and it gets too soggy. So you just want it to sit to the top. So this is gonna take like maybe 30 more seconds or so to sweat out. And I'm gonna start adding in the rice and the scrambled egg. Let's lower the heat. The vegetable has cooked. I'm going in with the eggs as well as the rice. Everything went in here now. And let's give this a good turn. Toss everything together. And remember this rice is seasoned with everything, with salt, with pepper, with some Chinese seasoning already. And at this point, when everything is incorporated here, you can taste to see if you want to add and make any more adjustments like with salt and stuff. So I'm going to raise the heat up. I have it on low. And this is basically our fried rice here, guys. Veggie egg fried rice. You see how nice and translucent it's very loose. The ginger gives us a very delicious flavor as well as uh, the smell is really good. We're more concerned about the taste, however, right? I'm gonna add a drop more of the sesame oil and sesame oil is optional, guys. You don't have to use if you don't want to. And add, I'm gonna add a, a bit more. So let me look and make sure and see that the big clump doesn't come out like the last time. Okay. Let me wash my hands, I'll be back second and that's what you want to hear that beautiful crackling sound and this is our fried rice you can add shrimp if you'd like in the fried rice but because i'm making you know the pepper shrimp separate you can add meat if you want chicken or whatever whatever type of uh, meat or protein you'd like you can add all right that's it guys, a beautiful egg and veggie fried rice. Next we're gonna do the shrimp. Right, so the fried rice has cooled down and I just garnish it with the sum of the chopped cabbage to the top. Look how beautiful it looks. And again, if you wanna adjust you know, the color of the rice, you can do it um, less dark, adding less soy sauce or the cat strip into it. Or you can add more if you want. I think this color is just great as is though. Very basic, veggie and egg fried rice. So I have my um, pot that I washed out here. I'm using my wok again. I'm doing everything today. I'm gonna fry the chicken in this. I'm gonna do the shrimp in this. I just did the fried rice, wash and clean here. I'm gonna light the stove here and I'm gonna start with the shrimp mix. And this beautiful platter was given to me as a gift 10 years ago from my beautiful friend, Sonia. So shout out to Sonia, Moses, Simona. Hi guys. And see Sonia, I still have the beautiful platter you gave me. She gave me as a gift when she came to see Aiden. He was a baby. Aiden is 10 years old today. So the platter is still going, Sonia. I love it, I use it. A lot in my kitchen and hope you and your family is doing well okay folks so some of the ingredients that I have here that I'll be using so this is like a Hong Kong shrimp I'm gonna do I'm gonna lightly fry the shrimp first for approximately a minute because the shrimp doesn't take long to cook I have all of the assorted vegetables here scallion peppers and, and the onions and stuff the cabbage I have some hot peppers some chopped up parsley and ginger I'm using some fish sauce sesame oil and some oyster sauce but this is like the real magic here so i have the magician here who made this sauce <laughs> how are you doing Nancy? hi good okay how are you what do you have in this sauce here so this is a special sauce that she made it's very delicious 
and I'm gonna be using some of this sauce in the pepper shrimp. So what are the ingredients yes, that you so use? You have to soak the roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. Then when it's soaked, you throw some sesame oil in the pan mm -hmm. and you fry up the garlic. When you fry up the garlic, you add some... Um, she have a note cards. <laughs> yes. Okay. You add some oyster sauce, soy mm -hmm. sauce, vinegar, sugar, cornstarch, salt, and mix a little of cornstarch and flour with shrimp. Oh, that's when you're doing the shrimp. Yes. Actually, also that, okay, so I know the cornstarch will have to thicken it. It's a thickening right. agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's it for the sauce and mush mushroom sauce. Mm -hmm. A little to taste with pepper. Okay, so I'm not going to add actually anything back into that sauce because I am going to still use a dash of the oyster sauce and the fish sauce as well as the sesame oil, but you have all of those already in there, right? Uh -huh. And that sauce, guys, is very, very good. So step by step, the ingredients that she just listed and she told you guys, give it a try. It's really good. And this, you can do it with chicken. You can do it with shrimp. So today, I'm going to fry the shrimp lightly first. So it'll coat, like give the, the shrimp a nice coating with the sauce. And again, this is the woman responsible here for the the sauce, pepper shrimp. the pepper shrimp sauce. Yes. So I'm going to do the Hong Kong style. So thank you very much for telling us the ingredients. You're welcome. Okay. So I lightly dusted the shrimp. I'm going to do it in batches of thirds because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. And again, I'm just going to fry this very lightly for maybe like a minute, minute and a half. I have some paper towel sitting here just to drain it out lightly and then I'm going to start sauteing my vegetables with the ginger and the pepper and all of the sauces and I'm going to coat the shrimp in it. Look at how beautiful the shrimp came out. So I cooked these again for just roughly like a minute and a half. I did them in small batches, four batches I did, because it's four pounds of shrimp. Let's go and start now with sorting the vegetables. So I have a little bit of olive oil right here in my pot, and I'm gonna start sorting the ginger as well as a little of the pepper. So. As you heard before, the sauce is a bit spicy. I'm not gonna use all of the pepper here. I'll taste and see if it requires more. Again, I, you can always add the pepper, you can not take it out. I'm gonna start sorting all of the vegetables and stuff here now. As you can see, the oil is very hot. Let's go in. Use the parsley. Using half of the peppers, I can always check for the spice level there. The ginger. Sort of this. I'm going to put all of the vegetables here. Okay. Alright, so this is the turn. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. A pinch, I say. Literally put my fingers and just pinch out because again the sauce has salt, it has the soy sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit of the oyster sauce. Alright, this is gonna start swelling out for a bit. The carrots are a bit tough, so this will take a little while to cook, maybe like two, three minutes. And I still want the vegetable again, guys, to be on the firm side. I'm gonna go in now with a little of the oyster sauce. And this is the Panda brand I'm using. I use this when I make wontons to make like a dip also. If I do like mushrooms, that's my little fish sauce. Okay, I'm using this brand of fish sauce here. And let's go with a little sesame oil also. I'm gonna let this cook for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna add in our beautiful shrimp. Look at how vibrant and beautiful all the colors look. And by adding in this the fish sauce as the oyster sauce and the sesame oil, I started to like 
loosen up a little and get translucent here with the vegetables. That's what we want. It smells really good. And I'm gonna start adding in the shrimp, and then I'm gonna coat it with the sauce over here. And lastly, I'll just put the cabbage in the top, just for it to steam very lightly. After about four minutes, I lower the heat here. Let's go in now with the shrimp. Add it in all of my fried shrimp. And I'm gonna coat it with the vegetable and then add the sauce in as well as the cabbage. And that'll be our shrimp, pepper shrimp. So I said earlier, it's like a Hong Kong style. It's not really because I actually fried it, the Hong Kong style shrimp. Um, it's more like a steamed shrimp with mushrooms and stuff. This is a bit different. Now you can add mushrooms, you can add broccoli also into this recipe. I'm just going to put the peppers and the onions and some carrots. But you can add again, you know, whatever choice of vegetables that you like. You can do it with broccoli again, as I said. half of the sauce in and I still have some more shrimp to add in just a good toss and raise the heat back to medium and everything is all coated and it smells so divine in the kitchen here right now. Everyone's in for a treat. So I'm going to enjoy this also, being that I'm not eating meat. And next, we are going to do my homemade fried chicken. I just added in the cabbage to the top. I tossed everything together here. So this is our Chinese-style pepper shrimp. The traditional pepper shrimp, like what we make in Trinidad. You don't usually fry the shrimp first. But I fried the shrimp today. It's something different. And the level of pepper is perfect. I did not use all of the peppers because it would have been too much. I kept back some of the pieces here. <clears throat> this is our finished product. Look how beautiful it looks. And it's not too, um, it doesn't have too much of like the liquid, like the sauce. Traditional again, pepper shrimp has a lot of liquid. My family does not like anything with too much of gravy and liquid, so this will work just fine because we're having it over fried rice. And this will work just fine. See how delicious it looks? have some oil that's heating up there and I have my wire rack lined with some paper towel there I'm gonna start frying the chicken now I have some unseasoned breadcrumb mixed with some flour here two beaded eggs and I did not season you know any of the breadcrumbs with the flour nor the egg because the chicken is thoroughly seasoned with everything salt pepper and everything there so I don't want it to get too salty I'm gonna start with the egg wash, put the, put in the chicken into the egg wash and then coat in it with the breadcrumb and we're gonna start frying. So I just took out one set of the fried chicken. Look at how delicious it looks. I have one muscle that's frying and I have a couple more pieces that's gonna go in afterwards. I sit it on the wire rack so the, the oil drains out. I have some paper towel on a tray. So it's gonna drain out here and it'll be ready to enjoy momentarily. <laughs> I have to say our word, watch. Let me see the chicken Ricky, you know, I can't eat it. Is it it's done well? Perfect. There you go. Caught me a guard, how dare you? That's okay. So guys, lunchtime. Mm. Boss man came home for lunch. AFC. AFC and I fried chicken. So I have a couple pieces there because it was too much. So guys, let me add in, you can take off the lids here. We have our fried chicken here, our shrimp, 
fried rice and the potato salad. So as I said, this would be like a typical Sunday lunch in Trinidad. You make it seem like it's summertime here though. I know. You know, make sure water spread like this when we hang out outside. And look, guys, can you tell what I cooked? I just cooked the stove, everything already emptied everything, put away, as I was saying before, as fast as I use, I like to clean and put away everything. When Ricky's here, he always helps me also. Mm. <laughs> Get to the bone, right? So you know what I, you know what I am going to eat, right? No, I'm gonna have my leftover biryani. Oh, yeah. I can't eat when I cook these things again. I can't eat it. See, that's why I never cook because I don't know. I, I can never understand what <laughs> you guys cook and can't eat. No, it's just again dealing with all of this. So it's a lot. Look again, Ricky. So it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken, the shrimp, fried rice, potato salad. And this warmer I got from Mrs. G. Thank you, Mrs. G. So it's actually, guys, an electric warmer. I'm not putting it on because everything is room temperature, fresh. I cooked everything, but in the winter time, this comes in really handy. Or if I cook curries and stuff, it plugs in right there into the outlet. All right, you ready to make a plate? Listen, this is what they call finger licking good. All right, great. It's really moist, tasty. All right. And good. not because, you know. Yes, because. Not because I well, look at this, man. <laughs> but true. You're yes. hungry, you mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make you a plate, okay? Thank you. So my biryani is heating up. I have some leftover shrimp biryani I'm gonna eat and I did buffet style here. So Ricky, help yourself, make a plate. Okay. Indulge and take a little of everything. Egg and veggie fried rice. Uh, uh, this is the one where you weigh the food or you could come back and take a second? No, you gotta wait, buddy. I gotta start charging you to eat here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's try the shrimp. Take some of the vegetables and stuff also. It's a beautiful day out. They done just came and had a piece of fried chicken. He's like, mom, it's bussing. <laughs> and he gave his dad the bone to eat. Yeah. <laughs> his dad is the carnivore. Let's try a wing. Yes, and I said Ricky, and as I said before, they like the wing, legs, and thigh. Mom, so lo mom loves the wing. Yeah, your mom, she loves she the chicken. I'm a, I'm a thigh girl. I like the chicken thighs. Dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so we know what you're missing there now, right? Some pepper sauce. Okay, pepper, pepper sauce. sauce. So I did not make his plate today. Ricky is taking out. I set everything again, both his style for the kids and everyone to take. Everyone's going to be helping themselves. Okay, folks. So thank you for joining me today and making this delicious meal. I am having, however, I took a little of the potato salad. This is uh, my leftover shrimp biryani. I had dinner with Alana last night. We were in the city and I had dinner. How was the shrimp? You tried the shrimp? I just tried the rice. You know what? Mm -hmm. As Danny's wife would always say, Miss Lynch, everyone cooks differently, right? Well, for some reason, this basmati rice, mm -hmm. it makes fried rice taste better to me. It does. I think, yeah. and, and again, yeah, I, I always like to use the basmati rice, the long grain basmati rice to make the fried rice and again i don't boil it i steam it i cook it and i wash it out before i start cooking for the starch white rice and any type of parboiled rice has a lot of dry starch mm -hmm. hence again when you're washing that's that's a little tip when you're washing you see how white it comes up that's dry starch on the rice it's not healthy to eat that mm -hmm. shrimp is amazing as well it's good right did a good job here again you got your rice Get him married. Basmati girl was a nice girl since again. We used to go. That was a girl's name. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Basmati and uh, what's your name again? Basmati. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, thank you very much again, as I said before, for joining us here. We're both gonna enjoy a little lunch. Thank you to all of our subscribers, our followers, our loved ones for all of your messages, all of your kind words and comments. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe to Anna's Kitchen. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers to eating good. Take care, guys.